Good afternoon. This is Wabash City Schools Superintendent Jason Callahan. I would like to begin providing weekly updates to our families, our students, and our greater Wabash community during school closure due to COVID-19 virus. While the emerging health threat has caused all of us unprecedented challenges to our normal lives, we at Wabash City Schools seek to find opportunities in the face of these challenges. In a recent cultural survey, with our employees, we learned that the culture our staff most believes in is a tribe culture. This is a culture focused on relationships, on helping to support people in their personal and professional development. So when COVID-19 comes along and shuts the doors on the school, it came as no surprise to me that our district and the people in it come together like family. For instance, last Monday, the Wabash City Schools Board of School Trustees passed a resolution guaranteeing that our hourly employees will continue to still be paid their regular compensation during school closure due to COVID-19 virus. I would like to thank the Wabash City Schools Board of School Trustees for this measure and for supporting our employees. In the first week of closure, our food service employees prepared and delivered nearly 3,000 meals between breakfast and lunch. Our bus drivers helped drive those meals to nine different locations. Here are the different locations and times for delivery. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mrs. Honeycutt, our food service director, and all our cafeteria workers for coming in and preparing and helping deliver those nearly 3,000 meals last week. Additionally, I would like to thank Ms. Shannon McBride, our transportation director, and her bus drivers who also came in to drive and help deliver those meals. I'd like to thank Mr. Vale, Mr. Hyden, and our entire tech department, and all our teachers who'd spent a lot of time preparing for one day of e-learning to only find out they really needed to prepare for at least 15. I want to thank to, uh, all of these individuals for having a can-do spirit and a growth mindset. We realize that not everything we're delivering is perfect, but what we promise our students and our community is that each day it will be better. Finally, I'd like to thank our students and our parents for their patience and resilience during these times. These are unchar uncharted waters, and at times the unknowns can feel scary and confusing. As I stated at the beginning of the video, our organization, Wabash City Schools, view, views its culture as a family. I believe that the greater Wabash community feels the same. If we stay committed to serving the children of Wabash, then we won't just get through this event. We'll get through it well and be better off for it. With that being said, I'm sure there will be missteps along the way. Please let us know if anyone has connectivity issues, transportation issues to, uh, to get food, homework issues, or any other issues or questions that we, the school, can help address. Please contact your child's teacher or school. I'd like to leave you with some pictures from this last week. I'd like to thank everybody for helping us build out a legacy of opportunity for all students and be safe out there. Have a great week, everyone.